Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Brownwyn, and last week I filmed a video that was going through my Disney t-shirt collection. After I filmed that video, I found this shirt tucked away in the back of my drawer. It's a little frocket, and it has a embroidered Mickey on it. I'm pretty positive I got this shirt from Walmart, but I tie-dyed it myself. Can you tell? Probably. I just wanted to show off that um, I have another Disney shirt, and I'm clearly very good at tie-dyeing. I decided after filming that one, it was probably about time that I filmed an ears collection video. Now surprisingly, I pulled them all out and I have a lot more ears than I expected, but I feel like I don't have as many as like a lot of other people have, so I wanted to include my like Disney hats as well. So it's gonna be an ears and hats collection. I wanna start with hats because I do have a couple small shop hats and I actually don't have any small shop ears. All of my ears are Parks ears. I wanted to start off with, again, I said this in my t-shirt video, my most favorite company is Magical Castle Embroidery. I have lots and lots of hats from them. This first one is one that Holly got for me and it has a little Bruni on it. I love the color of this hat. Bruni's just so cute. I realized as I went to put this hat on, I can't put it on with my pigtails. So we're just gonna pretend it's on and that I look really cute, okay? Along with Frozen, this is actually the first hat that I ever got from them. And I literally messaged her and said, hey, can you make me a hat that has Elsa's crown on it? And she said, absolutely. Look at that, I have a hat with Elsa's crown on it. Um, I know that somebody, maybe it was Savannah, wore this one on Frozen Day, and I got a lot of questions about it, so it was from them. Small World is my favorite attraction, or like little kid attraction, so of course I have to have a Small World hat. It's a super pretty pink too, which I really like. This next one has the little castle on it. This is my like what I used to have on like the intro of all of my videos. So I just think it's really cute and I really like the color of this hat too. That's one thing that I like about their hats is they're, I don't know, they just have very nice colors. This is like a little like dusty pink-ish color. I don't know how to describe colors, but that's how I would describe it. I also have this one which has Cinderella's carriage on it being pulled by a horse, which I think is super fun and very pretty. And again, it's like Cinderella blue, so it's perfect. Last but not least, this hat is actually Caitlyn's, but I asked her if I could borrow it for this video because Magical Castle Embroidery made it for me to give to her. Um, and it has, that is the Fairy Godmother in Training wand, and it has a bunch of pixie dust. I'm gonna do a close up of this one. Look how fun and magical that is. This company really is the best and can do just about anything you ask of them. Thank you, Caitlin, for letting me borrow your hat and also um, you're welcome for giving it to you. <laughs> Next up, this is a hat from Who's It's and What's It's, which I'm not even sure if they, I guess they're still in business. I don't know. I bought this hat before I started my first CP. So I got this like the beginning of 2017. Um, they had a like princess dad line hat is what they called it. So this is the Moana one. It's just like a tan hat and it has the little Moana swirl on it. This was the hat. I saw this and I said, I have to have this. I never wore hats prior to this because I thought they looked bad on me. And then I said, you know what? We're gonna start wearing hats. And now I wear hats and it's all thanks to this one. The last of my hats are all from the Disney parks. So we have this one, which is just very classic. It has Cinderella Castle on it. You can't go wrong with that, huh? I got this one during my first CP also, and it says Disney Happily Ever After. It's like the fireworks logo. It has Magic Kingdom on the side. Um, Happily Ever After holds a very, very special place in my heart, so I had to get the hat to commemorate it. Mm, this one makes me sad. I actually got this one from Cast Connection and I had wanted to buy it in the parks and just never did, so I was very excited when I saw it at Cast Connection, but it's the Farewell Illuminations hat. I really like Epcot Forever. I'm excited for the new show Harmonious, but Illuminations holds a very special place in my heart, so I am glad that I have this hat, and then on the outside it has Mickey blowing out the torch, which just <laughs> literally could make me cry right now. I have to put this down or I'll start sobbing. This hat I actually just got the other day from World of Disney and I haven't actually worn it yet. It still has the tag on it, but I saw it and I had to have it. It says the Walt Disney Studios and has a little Mickey with the take one thing. I don't know what that thing's called. I watched the, um, what's it called? Into the Unknown, the making of Frozen 2 documentary series. Obviously before that, but now just after watching that, I'm extra obsessed with like Walt Disney animation. And I thought it was really cool when I saw this. I was like, the Walt Disney Studios, that's pretty fun. Cause it's, I don't know, not just like a Magic Kingdom hat, which those are fun obviously, but I don't know. I like this one's a little bit more of the like creative side. So those are all of my hats, which means it's time to move to ears. As I said, all of my ears are Parks ears. They're from over the years though. So I can't guarantee that a pair I have, they still make, but they all were purchased 
sometime in Disney World. These are gonna go in no order. They're just sitting in a pile on my bed. We're just gonna grab them and chat. Oh, I can put these on. It works with my hair. Oh God. There we go. So these are the Millennial Pink Ears. These are one of my favorite ears. I feel like they just match everything. I really like the shape of the bow, that it's puffy, but not, I don't know. It's just nice. I, these are probably, I don't know if they're my favorite, but they're pretty high up there. These ones I haven't gotten to wear yet. These were a gift from my dad and Brian as a just little fun quarantine surprise. Um, they're the Small World Ears, because Small World is my favorite. So on one side it says hello, and it has a little smiling clock. The other side has a smiling clock and it says goodbye. I already have such a cute outfit planned for these, so I need a day in Magic Kingdom so I can wear them. Next up are the Arendelle Aqua ears. Literally all Disney had to do was call this Arendelle Aqua and I had to have them. I probably would have gotten them anyway because I think the color of them is really pretty, but like I'm just so whipped for Frozen. They said, we're making Arendelle Aqua ears and I said, sign me up. Colleen actually bought these for me because she was at work one day and they had them and I said, I need them right now and I was at work and couldn't go get them. So she got them for me. We've got some Christmas ears. I love these ones. They're velvet and then have the little snowflakes with the bow. These ones were um, a secret Santa gift from one of my friends in college, Susie. So thank you, Susie. These ears are very well loved. These ones I bought a while ago from Cast Connection because I'd seen them in the parks and I really liked them. So then when I saw them at Cast Connection, I was like, oh, that's probably a sign I should get them because that's the way my brain works. Um, I still have not worn them. I just, I really like them and I think they're really cute. I just feel like I have to have the right outfit for them and they just, they're so statement that, I don't know. I need to plan a good outfit because these ears, they're cute, they're classic mini. Uh, look at that, more Christmas ears. These ones are from a couple of years ago, but I like that these ones are more like winter ears than they are Christmas because all that's like festive about them is they have a little plaid bow, which I feel like could be really worn any time of the year. These ones were the ears for Mickey's 90th birthday, which I think was 2018. Yes, all the years just blend together at this point. Um, but these ones, the bow actually comes off of. I think it's supposed to be so like a boy can wear it as a bow tie or something was the like idea behind it. I don't know. Um, I don't want to wear a bow tie, so I just keep them on the ears. And I think these ones are fun. I think the color's really, really pretty. I don't love the bow on it, but I like the like champagne gold color that they are, so worth it. Of course, gotta be basic with the rose gold ears. The bow is kind of messed up on these ones, so that's real tricky, but you know, they speak for themselves. They're just great. These ones are also probably like top three favorites. These are bubblegum wall ears. Epcot is my favorite park. The bubblegum wall is so cute. So the fact that Disney literally made merch out of it is just oh my god look how cute these are the only problem that i find with these ones is like when do you wear them because 90 percent i love epcot it's my favorite park but 90 percent of the time i go i'm going for world showcase and i just feel like these are more future world ears than they are world showcase ears you know but they're so cute that who cares <laughs> these ones technically came out after christmas i'm pretty sure but like they're very Christmassy to me because they're red and I associate the color red with Christmas. I guess they could also be like Valentine's Day ears. Um, I have not worn these ones yet either, but Christmas is coming up, so. Yay. Of course, y'all know I have the rainbow ears. I have worn these things just about to death. They're so comfortable at this point though because they're so stretched out because I wore them so much, but these ones are just, I feel like these are like classic brawn ears. These ones, oh, they have a name. Are they the Ma Magic Mirror ears maybe? I don't know. I got them from Cast Connection. I like these ones because they're silver, but they're like rainbow, like iridescent rainbow. So I think that's better than just like silver. Um, I got these ones from Cast Connection also. I have not worn these ones, but my sister wore them one time. So that's good. Oh, wow. These ones are comfortable. I should wear these more often heck these ones are another favorite of mine i bought these during my first cp they're very tight i don't know why but they're so cute i love that the bow is on the side these ones i bought i think it was maybe at a halloween or christmas party and i saw them i was like those are so cute i need to get them right now because it was around the same time that the rose gold like craze started and within like two days the rose gold ears sold out and i was scared that like these ones would sell out they didn't obviously but i was like i want to go ahead and get them because i was sad that i didn't get the rose gold ones as soon as they came out but yeah i really like these 
And last but not least, we have the candy cane ears. Um, I got these ones this past year. They say candy cane cutie on the side, which I think is pretty lame. Um, I made me and my friends all get matching ones and then we wore them to the Christmas party together. Stop. These are so cute. Come on. Oh my god, I love these. I'm so ready for it to be Christmas so I can bust out all my Christmas ears and buy even more. Now that I have royally destroyed my hair and just ripped out all these little pieces with the sequins of the ears, that is the end of this video. Let me know what your favorite ears were, what your favorite hat is, any other shops that you think I should check out that I would like. I would love to hear down below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see y'all again real soon. Bye!